Here I have a circle, and then we can just really see that circumference. And here I have a line. And we're going to talk about the relationships between a circle and a line. Right now we could say that this line is external to the circle. It's, it's well, well outside of it. It's external. But if I move it here so that the line touches the circumference at just one point, we say that the line is tangent to the circle. It's touching at just one point. It's tangent. Now, if I move it here and I have it touching the circumference at two points, we can say that this line is secant to the circle. It is secant. So there's more we can explore about the relationships of circles and lines. And you see I've put a radius in our circle today. So I want to explore some other relationships here. I have this external line here. What can I say about the distance of that line from the center of the circle as compared to the radius? The distance from the center to this external line is greater than the radius. Now let's make this tangent. What can we say about this line's distance from the center as compared to the radius now? That line's distance from the center is the length of the radius. So when the line is tangent to the circle, its distance from the center is the same length as the radius. What can we say now when this line is secant? What about its distance to the center? It's less than the, the length of the radius, isn't it? 